right morning guys okay it's Marty Williams here on a lovely lovely but crisp morning here at Rockbourne we got a good crowd here today there's probably probably around 15 of us here today so we'll have a good good day today Oh, that wind's a bit keen. I think it's coming from the west and it's due to pick up a little bit as well, I think, but that's okay. That's okay. Water's looking good. And we're running a bit of a competition today. It's between now and 10 o'clock when we stop for a drink. And the competition is the third biggest fish not the first not the second the third biggest fish so i've started off my usual favorite nine and a half seven weight with a golden orange that i used last time we worked well last time because i could I could see it really well, I could pull it away from fish and I didn't want to catch and I could see it stalking in the in the deeper water as well. Whether this wind will affect anything today, I don't know. Fly fluttering nice. Got my good mate Ross there by the side. Ross, here we. We got Ian, Jolene, here's Neil, Sasha, we got Peter. Ah! <laughs> Right, I haven't done no good on old little bridge. I started off, didn't I, with a um, golden orange, nothing, but then again, I didn't see the lot on old. I think the wind had pushed them down. Bridge, I'd put a damsel on there then, and got to follow like every cast, but they wouldn't take it, so that was quite strange, really. So, while we got this absolutely stunning, beautiful day, <laughs> fingers crossed, I'm going to have a wander down to Longacre. You can see it there in the distance. Paul said the wind was catching it. Did it, did it. But there is plenty of of room down here as well so it's like the favorite lake of mine down here for because you've got like a good back cast here on this left side you know it's nice to chuck it out now and then 20 yards and get a take you know at that at that distance it's always nice to get takes stalking under your feet as well but I still love to get a take at long range oh, fish there so we'll start with this damsel I might have to put the uh, the one with the flow green body on, which is got a tungsten head on mine. So water's a lot clearer here. Water's clearer here, Pete, isn't it? Oh. 
couple of fish got all excited there and chased that in. Little perch tail. Smack, we got a little dude. It's oh, waking up now. Getting a lot of follows on the damsel, but today Yeah. He's having a go. Whoa. Just woke up, I think. A nice one. Get through the mud. It is muddy. I can just about see that bit of perch flash in his in his mouth there. Get this one dispatched. Yeah. First of the morning. He's a little bit slow, a bit cold that wind, but uh, Nice rainbow, nice tail on that uh, perch tailed stalker. Four mil head on that. I think that's a brass because it's not going down that deep actually. So, yeah, but that perch always does well. You always does well. Get him on that stringer. Excellent, excellent. We'll see if we can get uh, another now before before drinks at ten. Very civilized. Watch that net. McLean Long Reach, guys. A lot of people ask me what the the net is. Good net, you know. It'll take a good size fish. It's a McLean long reach, and they only do one long reach, so you can get them through guide fly fishing. You know the people who sell Rio. <laughs> that fish! I seen that one coming to grab that one then. Wow, that was pretty instant, wasn't it? <laughs> bigger this one yeah bigger this one I was just telling you about the net and the McLean long reach oh. there we are well could say I'm on a hat trick couldn't you there really that's a better fish Five pounder of anybody, money. Look at that, lovely. And I just flicked that fly in, didn't I? Because there was no wind, and I could see that shadow coming here. Snaffled up straight away. Let's get him dispatched. Be a forceps jobby. So I'll come and grab that. Strange, isn't it? Some days you'll whip a damsel through. There we are, guys. There we are. There we are. 
Now that is a nice chunky five pounder, I reckon. I'm happy with that. Happy with that. On that perch again. You've seen how instant that was, didn't you? There's that dark, dark shadow. And I could see him come in nicely because the water was out of the wind and he was nice and clear there. There we are. Perch sparkler. I don't want to cast out again now, do I really? Because 10 o'clock is, is drink. I'm weighing for the competition for the boys. So, we'll get this one onto the stringer. Hi, yeah. Get him on the stringer, Clive. Yeah, just a bit of flash. I tried a damsel, mate, and I, I was struggling with the damsel. They were following it, but we weren't yeah. having it. Put a bit of flash on, I, I mean... A, a... That's it. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Here we are, look. Uh, one about three, one about five. Lovely. Good start. Good start before drinks at 10. Clive there, see if Clive get one now. Well, yeah, I was talking about my net guys. Yeah, my clean long reach. It just pushes, just pushes down, look. But it is extending, but it's probably a bit longer than most. So the McLean long reach, you know, stood up there. I got, still got plenty, still got plenty of room. And it came with a standard mesh, but after a couple of seasons, you know, they break, you don't need the mesh, I think, from banging the fish amongst the mesh. But so I replaced mine with the rubberized mesh. And the good thing with the rubberized mesh, solid mesh so it doesn't soak up any smells so give it a shake virtually dry but no stinky net i don't say it's brilliant you know absolutely 100 percent but pretty good right Right, I've snuck down to you know, one of my favourite, yet again, little under the tree flicks. I can see a fish there, so let's, let's flick that out, okay? So it's a four mil copper, I'm going to let it go down a little bit. There's a fish there. Ooh, there's a couple of fish there. I pulled that away then because I seen one coming with a, a little bit of a a bit of a white spot on it. And Peter's into a another one I can see splashing over there. I think he's had two in as many casts from there, Peter, haven't he? Yeah. Right, so I'm letting that copper sink, guys, look, and then just Twitching it back with the rod tip. Oh, the fish I seen a pale shadow after that. Then twit twitch. And again, twit twitch. Twit twitch, here he comes. Whoop, whoop, whoa. That sounds a good one, Pete. That sounds a good one. That sounds a good one, mate. Could be a kitty winning fish. Twit, 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 twitch. Oh. oh, guys, I just looked away for a second then. And when I looked back, the fly had gone and he was in a Spartix mouth and I didn't react quick enough. Oh. Seen the white little edging on the Spartix tail, you know, uh, on the fins. That sounds a good one, Pete. Oh, that's that one Peter was playing. Look at that. Nine pound, and it's got like an eight pound tail. Look at the tail on it. That's a I beast, mean, mate. The photograph is going to weigh 12 pounds. Yeah. <laughs> what you don't want it to be now is over 10. <laughs> <laughs>
That's magnificent. Absolutely oh. magnificent. That's from a beauty. A, from a pool that doesn't seem to get fished very often. No. I reckon it was a good you idea, should, mate. You should come. Oh, that would be <sighs> yeah, that was a good plan of mine. That's what you're going to say. <laughs> um, right, I think, yeah. I... Uh, oh, please. Yeah, please, mate. I'm going to be. Right, guys. I have got the result of the competition. Guys, competition winners, anybody in here, anybody? Right. Is everybody here? Windy and wet. It's getting windy. Yeah, yeah. But you feel we now? Yeah. <laughs> you can swear as much as you like, there's a bleep button. Right, guys, in first place, which you won't win anything, is a 10 by 1 ounce rainbow. Neil Perry. So okay. vocal. Well done. Well, we've got a big rainbow. Yeah. In second place, with a nine pound four oh. ounce oh. rainbow. Oh. You've got to get fair, haven't you? So basically, your rainbow was four ounces too big. Was it? Oh. So the third Good prize <laughs> and the winner with a rainbow of exactly nine pound is. Peter! Oh. So Peter wins the whole kitty. Did you have to give a speech? Yeah, long. Fantastic. Here we are. So Peter wins the kitty as well. I don't know what that is. About 30 quid practice. Here we are, mate. Here we are. There we are guys, so we had a competition today and the competition was the person with the third biggest fish which was £9 goes to Peter Well done, well done Well done, well done Well done, well done It's bad when you're all upset because you go up to the beginning She's out of a joy, but she got a big fish like that, four hands off That was long casting, but with a blackened world gold stalker. Yes, and the rich gold colour, you know, the darker gold. Oh, scrapping well today. Lovely, lovely, nice, chunky, silvery three and a half pounder. Look at that, and he's mullered that fly down him as well. Let's get him dispatched and find the fly. Oh yeah, the heavy four and a half mil, black and gold, but the rich gold, you see the, the gold is sort of really a rich colour gold, and a nice, nice rainbow, but chuck him under the sort of shade by the, right, put me Dr. Slick forceps. Back on, see if we can get another. Let's go and try and get one from under that tree. I tried it earlier, I missed out. So, what's that, mate? No, not a, a nice one, you know, three and a half, four pound, perhaps.
Got him on the long cast. Still on the black and gold. Left one. Net down a couple of yards. I got him. I got him. Rainbow. Whoa. There. Nice rainbow on the black and gold. Dispatched. Lovely. On the black and gold again. Lovely. Get them dispatched. Another nice rockborn rainbow that fell. The black and gold. Excellent. 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 I've tied you up now. But there are there are plenty of fish there. I've had a decent hour and a half there. Did you? Yeah. How many have you had? I've had five now, so I started on the second ticket. Oh, well done, well done. They're all food size, so I'm not too worried about No, no, that's good. They're all food size. Oh, yeah, guys, look at that. And 12 o'clock on the button, and that's my fourth fish. And they're looking, they're looking pretty good, mate, aren't they? Beautiful fish, Mark. They're looking pretty good, so we'll get these, we'll get these back in the water. Go and wash the hands, and then we'll have, we'll have some lunch. And your suggestion about going on to the deep bag? Yeah, you try it. <laughs> that that possible method did work. Eh? <laughs> Let's listen. I pulled out of a big blue. The reflex action is put it in, cast back out again. Yeah. When you pull it out, you're at, it lines up in the air. It's gone straight back out again, and as it's hit the water, his baby brother has come up and nodded it. So I had me blue. <laughs> good, good, good. How long is that? As long as it's all coming together, mate. Yeah, I'm starting to, starting to feel more like me now. Well, you always are, you mate. You've just had a couple of months off with full pay. Who's saying what? Oh, come on. We need another event. Yeah, you are for sure. All the boys and girls having some lunch. Look at that. Everybody brings a few Scooby snacks. Lovely. Excellent. Excellent. Right. We can have a bit of a road test here. Of, uh... <laughs> yeah, I think it is Ridge Technology. I don't know, we'll have to find out, but this was from... Who sent you this now? Kieran Jenkins. Kieran Jenkins from Airflow sent Paul this new line. Oh mate, it feels oh, it's light, isn't it? It feels light, but there's weight there. Look. Yeah, that's what I was. Thinking. Yeah. 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 I get the full line up for this. Now we tick, tock, tick. Effortless, you know. Look at that. 
that's <laughs> yeah <laughs> that's a real <laughs> nice line that eh? yeah I, I don't know what maker is it's just come as a test sample line uh yeah it seems to be sitting nice around right? obviously the wind is giving a bit of a ripple at the moment but you can even you know that's a quick shot well that is just a 330 syntrax but look at that that's yeah. casting lovely yeah. yeah but there's it's casting it's casting the distance like a 40 plus but it doesn't feel like a 40 plus you can't feel any massive taper change no, it no. feels it feels thin going through the rod rings yeah. but still one cast lovely yeah yeah, it's. I have just asked the man down now, but yeah, it just seems to be a lovely line. It's, it, but there's no weight to it, does it? It feels very, it feels very lovely, huh? So a new airflow line that we think is going to be out later on this year. There's some new materials in the line, and I think they were saying, or the guy was saying to Paul that the certain material in the airflow lines in the winter does cause that bit of a memory when it goes cold but there's a different material in that one so hopefully that he said has uh, sorted that good good cast lovely cast lovely guys just moved on to bridge lake i haven't fished much on this one today and i i think as before I I think I felt a spot of rain. <laughs> uh, I think we have been lucky actually because it was forecast. It was forecast to be nasty this morning, but it's been good so. <laughs> yeah. I think I felt the spot of rain as well. Yeah. Yeah, some people would say it's thistle down. Blue. Blue. Nice, mate. Yeah. You uh, still on that egg down there? Right, guys. I got one more fish to catch, and I haven't fished the indicator and the egg for ages because the sport's been great stalking and pulling. So I got a little tiny 12 ultraviolet egg and I'm going to suspend it on an indicator about what's that two foot sixty let's have a go it can be a deadly method so we're going to give it a go and I put a big indicator on so hopefully we can see it Whoop. It's just splashy, right. Right, so we got our indicator floating out there. So I'm just gonna fish it dead static. Just see if anything's gonna pick that up. So I've got it set about two foot six because a lot of the fish today have been down I think a bit of a wind you know just chilled it off a little bit and they're not always easy to see when they're down you know that that two or three feet Just nice, see if we can catch one on a different method.
Ti 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 ti. And there we go, guys. Just trying something different. I know Granddad Chris has been successful on that method today, so nice to catch something different on a little orange ultraviolet egg fished about two foot six. Perhaps, I don't think three foot, but two foot six, perhaps. Lovely. Yeah. When the fish are down a bit deeper and they're not chasing so well, yeah. And it's quite nice from you because the wind's blowing that way so you can cast you and it'll stay over there, yeah. There we go. Let's get him dispatched. Get him dispatched. See that little orange ultraviolet egg. <laughs> 